Hey, welcome back to another video. Wayne here. So today's Wednesday. Normally my day I go out and chase segments and try to get some KOMs. Uh, I live in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and it is just 95 degrees and like 100% humidity, so there's no way I'm going far away from home today and going to exert myself like that. I am going to go over to my little hill here, Nemesis, and I'm going to go do some sprints, probably five or six, and just see if I can't PR my, my uh, peak power number. I'd really like to get a breakthrough on exert. And uh, I just finished up doing an FTP test on Zwift about uh, 20 minutes ago, so I got let my legs calm down and, and recover for a little bit. And I went up uh, three three watts since last month. So I'm going to do an FTP test every month on Zwift. And on Zwift, it's telling me my FTP is 253. And on Exert, you don't have to take if you're not familiar with Exert. Exert is the training platform and it builds an algorithm based on how you ride. So you don't have to do an FTP test. It, it builds an algorithm and, and kind of just figures it out on all your efforts and exerts and all your rides and everything. So it's telling me my FTP is 235. So that's, you know, that's 20 watt different, man. That's huge. And I'm definitely gonna go with the exert one because I know by doing uh, the intensity training, interval training. If I try doing it with an FTP of 250, there's no way I can complete my intervals. And if I go by 235, it's to the point where I can do them. And on the last effort, it's either I'm gonna miss it or I'm just gonna make it. So I know that's more realistic to what my real FTP is. So I would have to say when it comes to the Zwift ramp test, it's a good indication of where you are as a guideline. I don't think it's true. And I think the more you do it, like if you were to do that test every week or every two weeks, you'd get good at doing that test. And it's not gonna be a true representation of what your FTP is. But it's still a good workout regardless, you know, and it gets you in the ballpark, no doubt about it. But I don't think it's, I just don't think it's realistic that it's 20 watts higher than my what exerts telling me my FTP is. And in all my races, when I race, you know, when I'm going full gas, and normally my races are right around an hour, I'm usually averaging right around between 230 and 240 watts on an all out effort. And that's with, you know, some coasting and stuff like that too. That's my, my normalized power. Average power is normally a little bit lower than that. So yeah, we're gonna bust out some sprints here, see if we can't uh, PR my, my peak power record. I haven't went, I haven't went balls out in a while and it's hot out. My legs are nice and warmed up. So hopefully I can, I'd like to see 1200. If not higher, that'd be pretty sweet if I could see some, uh, you know, quadruple digits. All right, so this is Nemesis coming up right here. It's not very big, but it's, it's a nice little training hill right here. So I go down this little bridge here, and then right on the other side of it, it's almost... It's probably like a little over a tenth of a mile. I think from this spot right here up to the street, two tenths of a mile. So it's probably 0.15 tenths of a mile. So we're gonna start ripping my sprints from right here all the way up to about where that truck is up there. All right, man. Let's let the let the pain games begin.
We're gonna cut it short. I got four of them in there. Like I said, it's a super hot day and it's getting ready to thunderstorm here. These raindrops are coming down the size of Dixie cups. And if you know me, I don't ride in shit conditions. So I'm going home before I get wet and get my bike completely dirty. So I will catch you at home. I don't even think I hit a thousand watts on them sprints. I don't know, I wasn't looking down, but I didn't, I really didn't feel that powerful after doing that ramp test. But man, you gotta see these, if this will pick this up, these raindrops. I mean, seriously, they're like little cups of water hitting the ground. All right, this is going in the back pocket and I'm TTing at home. Hopefully this doesn't get too slippery. Look at that, made it home just in time. Lucky me. I can't believe how big these raindrops are, man. This is ridiculous. Well, you want me to get watered, so it's all good. There's a deer. I don't know, did you see that on camera? I got a little deer in my backyard.